There's a question here from Franklin Bayuranga who asks, uh, Indie contract jobs, uh, what's your view on where a new iOS developer should start their career? For contract jobs, I would, for at the very start of your career, because it's very, very hard to get good projects as your first job as a contractor. First, I usually recommend working for a company for a year or so to kind of build your base, your foundation, because oftentimes when you're contracting, you're in control of the whole project. Mm -hmm. And as a brand new developer, that may be, you may be biting off more than you can chew. Um, so that would be my first recommendation. But if you absolutely must, um, I would start doing work and I don't normally recommend Upwork, but I'm going to recommend it in this case or, or sites like that. Um, because in my mind, in this case, you're more doing this for the experience, not the money, or at least you should be right. Because you're just going to struggle to get good paying contracts if you have no experience. So you should be looking at this like, cool, the money's great, but I want this for my portfolio. I want this to learn to build my foundation. So right. in the future I can get proper paying contracts. Like I said, if you come out of the gate, no experience expecting well-paid contracts, uh, you're going to have a bad time. Right. So, I mean, I don't want to sound cruel towards Upwork, but it sounds like you're going to get uh, easier jobs or smaller, less mission critical jobs, let's put it that way, where you can write your beginner code, your rougher code, and get the experience doing contract work on 20 different frameworks, 20 different projects, often from scratch. And then when you really have you know, your teeth cut, as it were, you can move on to bigger stuff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, pretty much. But what you're also going to learn from from Upwork, and again, I'm not trying to bash it, but you're probably not going to get the best clients because half the battle on these contracts are, is, I'm sorry, like working with good clients. Like having a bad client that doesn't understand software development, has crazy unrealistic expectations, doesn't want to pay you, you're you're kind of learning trial by fire. You're, you're learning all these horrible experiences, you're getting that out of the way, and it's going to suck the first year or two. But that foundation of like those horrible experiences and learning from those and, and learning how to deal with that is just going to pay dividends in the future. So I don't know, I, I just think you kind of have to, to, to go through the bad stuff in the beginning of your career to, to really pay off uh, towards the end.